So before any major construction project, especially on a site as big and as complex as a steelworks, you have to understand what's underneath your feet. So as we look forward to the construction of the electric arc furnace and the other bits of collateral that are going with it, such as the scrap yards and the uh, infrastructure and piping, we have to try and understand what is underneath the ground that that stuff is going to be built on. You can see behind me the, the boss plant where the new electric arc furnace is going. We're some way from that, but immediately behind me you can see a drilling rig. So we've come out on site to find out what these drilling rigs are trying to do. I'm joined by Mike James. Mike, you are project engineer here in Tart Steel. Uh, tell us about these uh, drilling rigs. How many have you got and what are you trying to, what are you trying to do with them? Well, we're looking to um, drill 31 boreholes. Um, obviously, it's a phased operation, so we can go in certain areas at certain times. Um, we're trying to get the information as soon as possible to enable us to design the foundations um, for the new arc furnace. Uh, we are quite remote from the arc furnace location at the moment yeah. simply because we have to understand the strata and how the strata lies and what loads the strata will take. We do that by analysing samples that we retrieve from the boreholes themselves. Yeah. They sent off the laboratory and they do all sorts of geotechnical testing yeah. on there, including permeability testing and strength testing uh, of the underlying soils. Yeah. And again, from that, that goes back to a design, design team yeah. and they can um, come up with a foundation design uh, for the arc furnace itself. Yeah, because these drilling rigs don't look that big behind us and the, and the diameter of the core is not that big, but they go pretty deep, don't they? Yeah, we're down to 86 to 90 metres in some places. and um, We haven't stopped at that location yet. Um, yeah. So, yeah, we'll, we'll make a decision some way along the, the process yeah. as to when we stop the balls. Because it seems incredibly deep and no one's going to be putting, uh, you know, structures down that deep. But you have to understand how that might compress, I guess, with something built on top of it. Is that roughly what you're looking for? Yeah, plus the fact that uh, we know we got mine working through the site and it's just in case there are any voids there that we uncover, the lenses of sand, which will not support any material at all. Mm. And then we have to come up with a design to sort of span all those voids and yeah. unknowns and that are in the ground yeah of course there's lots of mine workings we forget about that now the the drill rig was operating shortly before uh, it paused so we could do this video uh that didn't look like it was drilling mike what was it doing it was what we call cable percussion so it's uh, smashing um, a tube into the ground to pave way um pay the way down to rock so we can start the rotary recording process yeah and how long is this going to go on mike because uh, i guess it uh, takes a while to drill through 86 meters of rock doesn't it yeah each borehole is taking roughly three weeks to complete and we've yeah. got 31 to complete but we've got several rigs on site so yeah. um, we're looking at the, perhaps a 10-week program yeah and like you mentioned we're we you know probably a quarter of a mile away from the boss plant yeah. you know how, how far around the boss plant and are they going into the boss plant as well yeah they'll be working inside the boss plant um we've got seven or eight boreholes in and around the boss plant area and um, we're doing the Hasco bank as far as the Hasco offices um, going the other way we're around the VLN building so you know it's, it's quite broad yeah. quite a broad area and then you'll have a full geological survey of the area we're going to build on so you can then start designing in detail the structures is that is that yeah. next step is it totally correct yeah. that's the next step yeah, yeah. Listen, thanks very much for bringing us down here. Good to see you. It seems a long way ahead of, uh, of the building and the construction sector, but it's been fascinating to see it. The other thing that I'll make mention of, and, and uh, we found as we came down here today, was this isn't just a case of putting a drill down a hole. There's an ordnance guy here who has got a magnetometer that in the early stages of the drilling, they drop down the hole to see if there's any bombs down there. Now, I guess in Potoba, we're not that far away from Swansea, which was bombed really heavily in the war. And we've known before that bombs and armaments have been found on the Potoba site when we were doing big construction. Little did I think that they every time they drill a borehole, they'd be poking a little magnet uh, device down there to see if there's any bombs down there. And if there is, I pull the device up and they go and drill somewhere else but it's another fascinating aspect of the complexities of the things that have to go on before you can start such a major project as an electric arc furnace mike listen thanks again for bringing us down here good luck with all the drilling we'd love to see the uh, the geological survey when it comes out yeah. and see how that feeds into uh, the construction plans but for the time being thanks very much and good luck with what you're doing okay just him